Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In a previous video, I showed you how to make the linkage for a sailor's chain. In this video, I'm going to follow up by showing you how to use wire wrap techniques to create this hook and eye closure. Now, let me show you what you're going to need. First, you're going to need a file. This is a beret file that has a four cut to it. I've got round nose pliers, flat nose pliers, diagonal cutters, some 14 gauge round annealed copper wire, and of course, my safety glasses. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you that I made a small example of the same type of chain, just so I could show you how to make the attachments. What we're going to do first is we're going to take our annealed copper wire and I want to just take a length from one end, I'll just straighten it out, and I'm just going to clip it off. There's no point in working with the full spool, but it's good to anneal enough wire to get the job done. Okay, so we're going to start by making the hook. This is really simple. What we do first is I take the wire and I measure approximately an inch and a half from one end and I just make a bend and I take that bend all the way around to where it almost runs parallel to the wire itself. Then what I want to do is I want to take my flat nose pliers and I just want to pinch that curve shut as much as I can. And by the way, if you struggle with this, a simpler way of doing this would be to just crush it in your bench vise. There. Now I've got the wire running next to itself with the loop closed down. The next thing I want to do is I want to look at how this is going to attach. Now I'm going to attach to the larger wicket and to do that I need to have the loop run perpendicular to the wicket. So that means that I'm going to have to bend the wire up. So that's what we have right now, a giant capital letter L. Next, I'm going to trade my flat nose pliers for my round nose pliers, and I'm going to place the large end of the pliers fully down into the jaws in that little corner of the L. Then what I want to do is bring the loop or the wire around to create a loop, and I'm going to make a full loop. Do you see how I did that? I repositioned the pliers so that I could go all the way around. All right, well right now, without it being attached to the chain, it's not really doing anything. So let me show you how you put it on. Just like a jump ring, you don't open it like this, you open it like this. So I'm gonna just hold the loop and pull the wire up. Then I can slide the large wicket onto the loop and then I'll just pinch it shut. Okay, so we're here right now. I've got the large wicket hanging from the loop. I'm pinching the loop with my round nose pliers and I have that double end right there. Now, the, you see that I have a length of wire left. This needs to wrap around both of the wires that are joined right or that are looped right here. Okay, so let's just start to go around. Now remember, if you've got weak hands, you can use your bench vise to hold the loop if you need to. All right, and I'm going to come around. And generally what I like to do is make a minimum of three rotations around something whenever I'm wire wrapping it. Okay. So that's looking pretty loose. Now, if yours is looking loose too, what you can do is take your flat nose pliers and then just give it a pinch here and there. If you pinch the wire down to compress it, it takes on a more spring-like coil look. All right, so let's continue around one more time. Okay, and now I'm ready to clip the wire. So I'll just clip it off. There we go. Now this little bit of a nub that's sticking out, you can pinch it down with your pliers. Okay. 
and I would run my finger over it. If you feel any kind of sharpness or a burr, take your beret file and then just run over that area just to eliminate any sharpness. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now the next step is to grab with the end of the rosary pliers above the coil and pull the top part straight back a little bit like that. Then grab the end of the double of that loop, pull it up, and now it looks kind of like the end of a ski. What you'll do next is open your pliers up, catch one jaw at the top and put one underneath like so, and then slowly bring it around. And there you have the hook. Now you can come back and you can make adjustments with your pliers and you can make it nice and neat. And of course, running this through a tumbler will help to work hard in it. Now let's talk about the other end. And if you look back over here, you can see this closure is basically just two loops with some coiling in between. Now, the way that we're gonna initiate that is, and bring my wire back, I'll cut a length of wire. Okay. And this begins almost like an ear wire or any other looping that you would do in terms of wire wrapping. I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna grab about, oh, two inches or so into the jaws of the pliers, and I'm gonna hold the longer end of the wire as I turn a loop. Now be sure to turn all the way. Notice I'm like loosening my grip, and then coming back and pulling this wire to keep it straight. And then I have a loop that just happens underneath the wire, and the wire touches itself right there. Now you wanna grab where the wire touches itself and pull up. This is just like with the beginning of an ear wire. Okay, so I have a capital letter L that's riding a tiny unicycle. Okay, so this is the point where we need to make the attachment. So I'll open that jump ring and now I'll slide it through the smaller wicket on the opposite end. Just like that. Okay, now what I can do is I can pinch this loop shut with my round nose pliers and I'm going to start to wrap around the long length of the wire. Now here's the trick. What I want to do is I just want to initiate this wrap just a little bit. So I've gone around once. So now what I want to do is I want to create another loop that will create the eye for the hook to join the pieces together. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch the wire like this up at the top. Actually, I'm going to come to the side and I want to go in the opposite direction. So if this one is traveling in this direction, I need to make a loop where the wire comes out in the opposite direction. Okay, so watch what I do. So I'm gonna come here, I give it a pinch, and now I'm gonna bend in the opposite direction. I step up into that corner, I pull up, go over the top of the plier, loosen my grip, step up, and sweep underneath. And now I have wires going in both directions. Okay, so what I can do now is I'm just gonna adjust this loop a little bit, making it a little prettier. And now I'll pinch it shut with my rosary pliers and I'm going to start to wrap in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna give it one good round. Okay, and you can see right here where there's a gap between the two wires. Now all I need to do is wrap this one part way and stop. Then what I can do is I can clip this off, clip the shorter wire off at the other end, and I wanna tuck it in. So I'm gonna use my flat nose pliers and I'm just gonna pinch around this piece and tuck that wire in 
Then what I can do is I can take the opposite wire and I can clip this one shorter as well. Then it's a matter of just pinching these wires so that they create the illusion that the coil is continuous. Now, if you didn't clip it short enough, it's okay. You can come back and clip it a little bit shorter if you need to, but you just want to see where they come together right there. You just want to tuck them in, just push them together. And to make the coil look tighter and neater, just pinch it so that it looks a little bit more compressed. Now, you may need to work this just a little bit just to finesse that the appearance of those wires. And again, run your finger over this. If you feel any sharpness, you can use your beret file to just kind of pinpoint where the trouble is and file away that little bit of a burr or rough spot. And now you have a hook and eye that will join your bracelet together. I hope you liked this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the button in the lower right hand corner of your screen and become a subscriber to our channel. The Online Jewelry Academy regularly posts to Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we have paid courses on udemy.com. If you don't have tools, check the description to the video. You'll find links so that you can purchase comparable or tools that are comparable to the ones that I use in the videos. Thanks for watching.